Hi. How are you guys? Who's out there? It's Sunday, key to coach. So I'm in my office, you know, where I like to hang out on Sundays. I used to do um, it on my actual couch. That's how it got the name. But now that I have this beautiful office, I love to come down here and do it. And it's just quiet and um, really peaceful because the water's out there. And usually everybody's gone on Sunday because half most of my neighbors are seasonal. So they leave um, for the weekend, after the weekend, which is awesome. So, so I've had so many questions in my inbox, and I'm answering them. But I thought, you know what? These are all good learning tools. So I thought tonight would just be about um, me answering these questions to you guys so you can learn too. And then also any questions that you have. So hopefully you all thought up some questions that you have about anything. Because I have some business questions in here. I have, I'm trying to fluff my hair up. <laughs> now it's too fluffy. Um, I have business on here, sweeteners, all kinds of different stuff. Getting rid of the stall, yes. Um, okay, so let me, let me write that down. And I'm going to go through my notes. I have a whole list here. So um, my friend Cindy, who comes in the restaurant, she asked me a couple questions today. And I didn't yet answer her. So maybe she'll pop on here and I don't have to. <laughs> um, but um, with the next step. So she cut out carbs for like about a week. She's been cutting out carbs slowly. She, of course, experienced a little bit of the keto flu which is where you have a headache and you're kind of sluggish and you don't feel that great. And so, um, because you're just detoxing. And that can take weeks, even a month for some people, depending on how much is stored in there. And so one of the things that I'll say to that, just because I was going to talk about the reboot anyway, that's a great way to get rid of the stall for one and also to get rid of all that built up sugar and, that's in your body because we store it and it's all just kind of sitting around. So when you reboot, which is basically a 60 hour fast, it cleans all that out. So that's not what my answer to her would be. Yes, it's my answer to her, but also what's the next step? Okay, I've been off um, or I've cut back on carbs for the last week, what do I do now? So what I did was slowly introduce fat and just made sure that every meal I had more fat than I had anything else. And then I just slowly did that and worked forward on making the majority of what I eat in a day fat related, okay? So that's the next step if you're switching to keto. But if you're just gonna stay low carb, then you just fine tune that and you stay in your little window of percentages and everybody knows what those are. So that's 75, 20, and five for keto. You, you can play with that a little bit when you're just low carb, but um, keto's pretty, you're pretty good at 20 grams of carbs a day, where if you're low carb, you can be bring that up to 50, okay? Or even a little bit more if you don't really need to lose too much weight. You know, if you want to lose weight, then 50 is great. But anyway, so that would be the next step is increasing fat intake and then still cutting out the carbs. And then I, of course, always recommend ketones because it, to me, it's changed everything. It gives me that ketosis feeling um, so much easier than it is to obtain it with just doing food. So of course, that to me would be the next step. That was the next step for me in my journey. So, but not for everybody. All right, my next question was sweeteners. Um, my friend Kelly, she asked me a question this morning about sweeteners. Now, oh, before we go on, I didn't tell you to share. So I don't need to tell you at this point, you guys. You're all on my side. We're changing the world one step at a time. So share this out. Share it to your own page. Share it to people that are trying to... Um, maybe do low carb, keto, whatever, or mo need motivation, share it to their page. Um, 
share it to any groups that you're in. I'm not going to talk a lot about products, so you don't have to worry about that. You won't get kicked out. <laughs> um, but share, share, share. That's that's the main thing. Or tag people in it. That's another way to share. If you're not comfortable putting this somewhere, put people in it. You know, put a um, tag in the comments, and then they'll be able to see it. Okay? So, um, sweetener. Her question was... The, she wanted to talk about the cost of monk fruit and how much I buy and where I buy it and if I bought brown and could she just use um, a little less regular or could she use half and half. And So my answer to that was, first of all, no. <laughs> you can't ever use white sugar again, okay? Just get rid of it. It should not be in your house. Don't do it. Get rid of it. There isn't, shouldn't even be a question of that. And that's exactly what I told her. I'm like, is this a serious question? We've been friends for quite a while now. And um, it, yes, it's more expensive, definitely. But you're taking care of yourself. So aren't you worth it? I think you all are, all, all anybody who's watching me right now is worth it. Okay? It is so much better for you. So, but that being said, I understand about money. I get that. Um, but you use a quarter of what you would, so let's say the recipe called for a cup of white sugar, granulated sugar. Um, in monk fruit, that is just like a couple tablespoons. Yes, it's the devil. I agree 100%. Get it out of your house in all forms. There's, I don't know, 60 some names of sugar. Um, so, so the cost really... Initially, yes, that bag looks like it's crazy expensive, right? But it isn't because you're using such little portions of it. And so um, that was my answer to her is that it really, in the big picture, if you were to put it side by side, it isn't more expensive. It's just initially more expensive. So please invest in yourself. Please know that you're worth it and that, you know, just using, well, just use a little bit and then a little bit of monk fruit. No, that doesn't work. No. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> All right, next one was um, business. So a lot of people have asked me questions about um, my business. I own a cafe, and I've been there for 13 years. Very successful um, little cafe in town. Um, I always say it's the best restaurant in town, but that's just me. <laughs> but it's successful in a little town of very little people. So um, people ask me how, why, what? What do I do? Well, first of all, I work. I work really, really hard. Um, but second of all, I'm consistent. I show up. I have the great, a good, good product. Every day it's done the same way. It's always um, good quality, good service. Um, a lot of people, I've had employees come and go, of course, and people are like, most of the time they leave and they're, they think that I'm crazy and that I'm too picky and this and this and this. But a lot of those people come back. And they work for me again because they understand that I'm crazy in that because of a reason. I have quality and I have consistency and I am successful because of that. And so people come back because they know it's going to taste the same. It's going to look the same. We're going to be open when we say we are. And we're going to treat you well while you're there. So when I started network marketing and... Um, selling ketones and and products this way and helping everybody with keto or low carb i'm the same way in this business i will be consistent i will follow up i will help you with whatever you need you send me a question i'm going to help you i'm going to send you a little video that tells you how to take it i'm going to do all the extra stuff and you know why because i'm going to be successful with this too because that's how i roll i'm consistent i'm all business I will take care of you and I'll do it in a very loving and kind way. That's another thing that I'm always, because I'm so grateful. I'm grateful that you would trust me to help you. I'm grateful that people walk in my restaurant and want to buy product from me and sit down and have a meal. And I'm going to make that the most enjoyable part of their day if I can. Um, and there's some people that you just can't. <laughs> Because they're miserable in their own life. And I've learned to just accept that and just be like, yep, it's okay. Because you're going to leave here and I'm going to still be happy. So that's the biggest part. You want to be successful in anything? Be consistent. Be show up. 
Show up for yourself, show up for whatever you're doing, and just make it work. Okay, so um, I'm always recruiting. I'm recruiting at AJ's right now. I need a couple people, and I'm recruiting in this business as well. So you guys, if you want to be successful and you want some help, I'm your girl. I'll get you there, I promise you. But you have to do the work, okay? You can't just uh, come along and be like, eh, I might do something on Tuesday. I Every day I touch both my businesses, and that's the only way. So I'm considering getting rid of one of my businesses, and it's not this one. <laughs> um, very seriously considering it. And people are like, well, what, what are you going to do? And I'm like, it doesn't matter. Because you know what? I'm going to be successful whatever I do. That's not a question. <laughs> because I'm going to work, and I'm going to put in the time, and I'm going to be consistent, and it'll be okay. You know, so change is coming, guys. Change is coming. <laughs> anyway, that's all I can say about that. It's it's private. <laughs> Anything private in my life anymore? Nope. <laughs> Not really. Uh, the day I put bathing suit pictures for all of the world to see was the last time I was pretty private. So anyway, I've never really been super private anyway. I kind of, once I get talking, I just can't stop. So you guys are supposed to be dropping questions. I've only had one question and it was about a stall. So where's the questions? Because I'm going to be out of these ones pretty soon. And we're sharing, right? Everybody sharing? Please share. It's so nice. Hi, Ange. I'm not, I haven't seen you in a while. All right. So next thing is desserts. So the same lady that asked me about the next step. What's my next step? Um, Cindy. She asked me, when can I start eating desserts like you made the other night with the peanut butter and chocolate right away? Because that is a fat, what considered a fat bomb, right? So we have to get out of our mindset that um, that is a dessert because it's not a dessert. When we changed um, how we made that dessert, it all of a sudden became something that we can have all the time. Now, you have to always check your where you're at, what you ate today, and I'm not going to, you know, I can't fine-tune that for you. That's your responsibility to look at a recipe and look at the serving size and control that part. But I can give you the great recipes, and I can show you how to cook them and all of that, but the next step is kind of up to you, and I recommend an app for that. Um, I don't use an app at this point, but I know where I'm at. You know, I've been doing it long enough that I'm okay with that, but when you're first starting, for sure. My fitness pal, carb manager, Angie uses something else. And what is the app you use? Um, so anyway, right away you can eat stuff like that. So I recommend that you do have a little treat once in a while. It keeps you strong. And it's not, that's not cheating. That's all, everything I put in that is good for you. So no worries, okay? All right, so um, reboot, we kind of talked about that. The question was, why do a reboot? Should I start a reboot before ketones or should I? And I, that lady who asked that question, she missed this month's reboot. So she was going to wait and not do anything until August. And I recommended she buy um, a 10 pack, get her started on the ketones, start that whole process. And then August 1st, go for a reboot and then clean out sugars. And then we do it all over again, right? So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, when we get off here, I'm going to put her pack together. So she's starting with ketones, and then in August, she'll do the reboot. And the point of the reboot is to clean out any sludge, clean it all out, and continue forward. And this is something that you do regularly. You know, most of my team does it every single month. I personally only do it every other month um, just because I'm so busy and crazy, and it just doesn't work for me to do it every month. But... I will tell you, you should do it every month. <laughs> so I'm probably going to start having to do that, right? Because this is a do as I say, not as I do. That doesn't usually work. All right. So the next thing was um, I had a couple people very interested in product, but very concerned about the price. So first thing I will say to that is um, you're all worth it. So if I was to tell you about this amazing makeup and you really, really wanted it, you'd make it work, right? this lipstick or whatever it is. Um, this is the same thing. It's just biohacking your body, giving your body exactly what we already produce, and you're just purchasing it for yourself. 
So you're all worth that, okay? And um, I know you can all take out a little something and make it work. But we get stuck in this mindset that we aren't worthy of that kind of taking care of ourselves. So please get out of that mindset and understand that the big thing in the big picture, I had one of my ladies, gosh dang it, what's her name? I can see her face, Sherry. Um, she said to me on the phone the other day, we were fine tuning her order and um, she said, I'm taking care of myself now and I'm paying the money now. So down the line, when I'm older, I don't have to pay extra because I'm not healthy and I don't feel good and I'm at the doctor and I'm getting surgeries or whatever, taking medication, whatever it is. And I was like, what a brilliant way to look at it. So she's spending, investing in herself and her body right now. So <coughs> 20 years from now, she doesn't have to because she'll be good. She'll feel good. She'll have taken care of herself. She'll be at a um, healthy weight, all of that th stuff. Um, you know, these products are not just, first of all, they're not just weight loss, but second of all, it's not just something that's just um, a band-aid. This is curing things. Like when you eat MCT oil, it goes straight to your brain and it makes it better. It stops things that kill our brains, which, you know, I mean, it's just, Amazing if you did some research on it, um, or I can give you some research. The the overall, what's going to happen in the end is so, so good, you guys. So, so good. Okay, so please don't get hung up on the cost of it. We have lots of wonderful programs that make it more affordable. If that is an issue for you, you just have to get a hold of me. Okay, um, stall. Kind of hit on this a little bit. Um, of course, there's couple things that I would do. One is cut out any kind of um, cheese, heavy creams, things that maybe could make you stall. Um, a lot of times cheese and heavy creams will do that. Second thing is making sure you're getting enough electrolytes and enough water. Um, that too will make you stall. Um, stress, not enough sleep, those are issues. Um, adding more fat, checking your protein and checking your carbs, but upping the fat. And upping the fat, especially like right before you go to bed. Upping that um, and going to bed like with a lot of fat in your system will help you burn it like a machine, right? Um, and then of course I recommend ketones because if you wanna break a stall, girl, that's the way to do it, okay? Um, that's exactly why I did it. Hi, Taylor. Um, how's my baby? Um, so that's, I think that answers that. Who asked me that question? Let me see if I can find her. Uh, Corrine, did that, that answer your question? If you're still on here, let me know. All right, so we talked about, okay, future board. I just wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit about this. Someone asked me um, this book. I showed it in my story. I don't know if you guys watch my story, but I put a ton of stuff in my story that I don't put on my page, so... You should check that out too. Um, so this is a book from Sarah Centrell and I, Centrella, I um, had a one-on-one -on -one with her over the phone and we talked about her first book and it's about future boards and vision boards, whatever, however you want to reword that and manifesting and all the steps to do that. Well, this is her new book. Oh, I did answer it. Cool. Thanks. I'm glad I helped you. Um, let me know if you have anything else, just inbox me. I can talk to you a little bit about um, the thing, you know, fine tune that a little bit for you. Talk to you, tell me what you're eating, what you, you know, that kind of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So the future board, someone asked me about this book. So this is her new book and it's just um, more in depth than her first book. And it's basically on the same wavelength though about how we all can manifest our own journey. And we just have to vision it. And then, of course, you have to work for it. But envisioning it is part of the battle. It's like you, so um, I want a Land Rover, right? I want to earn a Land Rover um, with my company. So I envisioned that. I went and I took pictures with the car. I saw the car. Now, guess what happens, you guys? I see that car all over. I'm like, well, maybe I don't want one of these because they're everywhere. But. No, they were always everywhere. But because I'm visioning it now and I am 
expecting that that is what I'm going to do, I see them more. So it, it and it's all about being aware of what is around you. You know, the universe gives you signs every day. Are you seeing them? Are you paying attention to the signs that are all around us? So many people aren't paying attention to that. So um, it's there. You just have to embrace it and vision it and see it. And, and then, of course, work really hard and get it. <laughs> you can't ever get around that part, you guys. <laughs> That's one of the main things is like, well, I want that car. Why isn't it in my driveway? Well, I haven't quite got to that part of this business, so I have to work a little bit harder. So anyway, all right, that is all I had on my list. Anybody else? You guys got questions for me or not? Anybody? 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 Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm sure there's more questions, but I just, I kind of thought you guys would have some, so I didn't want to put too many on this. But we talked about business. We talked about everything. What else you guys got? Anything? What time is it? I don't know. This won't tell me what time it is. So, um, All right. Well, then, I guess that's Keto Couch for tonight. Or for this week, anyway. So, if you guys would do me a favor, and if you're not already following me, um, touch my nose. And there will be three little dots. Follow. Send me a friend request. Um... If you have any other questions, you can always inbox me or drop them in here because I always go back um, either later tonight or in the morning and um, look at whatever questions people left and I'll answer them. If they wanted the recipe, I'll put that on there, whatever. Oh, my YouTube channel. Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot that. I started a YouTube channel, you guys, and I did a live on this the other night, but I'm going to reiterate it on the Keto Couch. So right now, I think there's 30 videos on there, and they're all videos that I've done on Facebook. But what happens in Facebook, it becomes this black hole. Um, they only have on my actual page like a month's worth of videos. Well, I do one a month, one a day usually, and so... All these other ones that I've done a year ago, they're gone. Like, I can punch in if I know what it is. Okay, so bagels and locks. I made bagels and locks one time. Without punching it in and hitting enter into the search bar, <coughs> I can't find that video. So then I pull it up and I'll tag someone in it. Then it'll go, it'll be out in the um, universe for a while. And then it just goes away again just disappears. So that kind of freaks me out because I've done a lot of great videos um, and I don't want them just to be gone. So I, when Facebook had their little hiccup last week, I was like, okay, this is not good. And so I, um, some people have been telling me to do a YouTube channel for a while. So I'm like, okay, that's it. So I'm doing it. So it's kind of labor intensive. You have to take them from your, comp from Facebook Download them onto your computer and then download them onto YouTube. So it takes, <coughs> excuse me, I got a tickle. Um, it probably takes a good 10 and 15 minutes per video. <coughs> I don't know what's wrong. Depending on the Wi-Fi, of course. But if the Wi-Fi is slow, then it takes a little bit longer. But So I've gotten 30 on there and I probably, I think I have 30 some followers already, which is awesome. So if you want to, it's just my name. So, and then Keto and then Wendy Ann and you'll find me. I don't, I'm sure there's a UL, URL or I, I'm so not computer or so not YouTube yet. So it's very foreign to me, but I did, I have this beautiful 18 year old young lady that works for me that is so computer smart. She does all my stuff and she's leaving for college in like 20 days. And I'm so sad because it's like, well, who's going to do my stuff? So I said, all right, you have to be like on call. So if I need something, you can do it. So she's going to help me even from college. But anyway, um, she made me little albums. So one's just cooking, one's keto couch and one's like, um, tips. Or something like that. So we made little albums so that if you're just in there for um, recipes, you can just go to this one and look at those videos. Or if you want to know some tips on keto, low carb, boom. If you want to know about products, boom. You know what I mean? So it, it kind of makes it a little bit 
um, user friendly, if you will. Hi, Lori. So we're just doing a Q&A. If you have any quick questions, I'm almost out of here. So I was just going over YouTube really quick. Um, but if anybody has a, any more questions, let me know. And if not, I'm going to let you guys go. All right. Please share this out. I really appreciate that. We need to save the world, you guys. Um, it there, It's amazing all the little helps that we've done so far. And I, I definitely help think that that is from all of you helping me. And I appreciate it so, so much. You don't even know. And so it isn't as fun without people to help you, you know. The journey is great and you get lots of positive and negative just with any business. That's the way it is. Um, and you get negative people. But for the most part, all of you guys are so loving and kind to me. And I so appreciate that. Hopefully YouTube's the same. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. So I did, uh, uh, I don't know what I was, I had a recipe on there. And I was like, all right, don't judge this. You know, whatever I did in the, the recipe or the video. So we'll see. Hopefully everyone will be kind on there too. So, all right, you guys. I got to go have dinner. So I love and appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Mwah.